Hello, my name is Victor Fuller, and I'm the Implementation Coordinator for EverLogic. I'd like to welcome you to our training session on flat rate versus hourly rate labor codes. Today I'm going to show you how to set your labor code to a flat rate or an hourly rate. But before we begin, I'd like to go over the difference between the two. An hourly rate simply takes the amount of hours worked on the job times the price to find the total. A flat rate, however, is not affected by the amount of hours worked. A flat rate has a pre-calculated total for a set amount of hours. If the repair takes more or less time to complete the job, the total remains the same. Now let's begin. Click on the System Setup tab. If you do not see the System Setup tab, then you do not have the permission required to enter or adjust labor codes, and you will need to get with your dealership's administration before proceeding. Once you have clicked on the System Setup tab, go to your Service folder and click Labor Codes. Your Labor Code search will open. Click on the Search button, and then double click on the labor code you plan to adjust. When the labor code opens, you need to locate the Use Flat Rates button. If you intend to use a flat rate, check this button and enter your price and the set amount of labor hours you are allotting for this job. If this is an hourly rate labor code, make sure the Use Flat Rates box is unchecked then enter your price and set the labor to one hour. You will need to set the price and labor for external, internal, and warranty if this labor code is to be used on all types of ROs. This concludes our training session on flat rate labor codes versus hourly rate labor codes. On behalf of myself and all of us here at EverLogic, I'd like to thank you for attending this training session. If you have any questions, please contact us at area code 904-998-4066 or email us at support at everlogic.com or you can email me directly at victor at everlogic.com. Thank you and have a great day.